What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Rob and Alex here ready to react to It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia, Season 8, Episode Number 6. In the last episode, we saw the gang go get therapy to decide who was going to wash the dishes. Uh, <laughs> I mean, whatever. Uh, in that session, we basically learned nothing. They're all fucking crazy <laughs> in their own yeah, special the, way. The poor therapist that had to put up with these people, man. Yeah, and then Dennis is over here trying to co-psychoanalyze everyone yes i mean honestly this tells like she had to learn more about dennis than anyone else right i don't know all he's, all in the while he's drawing a picture of him grabbing her breasts <laughs> like, <laughs> okay <laughs> oh funny shit but uh yeah let's uh jump right into the episode Doing me a solid offering to do this laundry, all right? Hey, we never get to talk. That's we why don't I don't talk, and it's good that way. Uh, hey, Max here. He brought Hi. his laundry. So. Thanks a bundle, Mrs. Kelly. <laughs> I got Frank stuff. Uh, D Did stuff, she offer to do Max? So be working. Oh, okay. Jeez, well, you got everyone. What I wanted to talk to you about is it. We're busy. We got a, a whole big day planned. Yeah, so we're gonna go back to Patty's and polish off a couple beers. Beers, you know. So typical day. And good and done. Yeah. I'd like to bring it up now. Um, I have cancer. Yeah, but I gotta go. Yeah. I'm uh, sorry, what? I have lung cancer. What? But That's a hell of a bomb to throw on him. even smoke. Well, you know, <coughs> it's just one of those freak things. Ah. <laughs> you know, I almost forgot about that. <laughs> he could tell I was under a tremendous amount of stress and that my heart was filled with sorrow. Now, how would he have known that if he wasn't psychic? I'm not giving you any money for your dumb psychic. But he says I'm going to have a tremendous windfall of cash. You're losing your mind. You're being scammed. I'm losing my mind? Yes. How many pairs of shoes have you lost this month, Frank? What the hell? Unrelated, Three. though. Mm -hmm. Four. Mm -hmm. That's not the point. The point is my mind is as sharp as a... What do you, what do you call it? Uh, guys, my mom has lung cancer. Oh, God. You know, how, geez. What a dick. <laughs> okay, fuck you. <laughs> fuck you, Dennis. What the hell is that, dude? That doesn't sound very genuine. Uh -huh. No. S sorry, what was I supposed to do? Oh, Damn. What are, you are you kidding me? Are you screwing with me right now? No, I'm sorry. I think the cancer thing, for whatever reason, just not, you know, it's just not grabbing me right now. Shit. Not, not grabbing you? My mom is dying! Okay, all right, all right. Calm down, calm down, okay? Because my mom has a doctor that can cure the cancer for 4,200 bucks, so no big deal. What? No, they bucks. can't. To cure cancer, that's it? Yeah, I gotta say, though, this is a strange place for a doctor's office. What's this guy's name? Dr. Jinx. Dr. Jinx is the name of a monkey, not a man. <laughs> he lives in a garage? Yeah, guys, look, let's just give him a shot, all right? If we don't like what we see, we reassess. All right, go. Oh, I, I, I'm sorry. Are you Dr. Jinx? Indeed I am. Have a seat. Dr. Jinx, I have an eczema situation that's burning me up good. Do you have anything for oh, that? Uh. That's not eczema. What you have there, my friend? That's sailor's rot. S sailor's rot? I, I'm not a sailor, Dr. Jinx. Oh, 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 that burns! Oh. Mother Earth, don't play. Do you have anything from the Mother Earth that would be sprayed on me and cause me to have feelings again? Because I'm having trouble feeling things. Oh, you want huh. feelings. Has he ever I had feelings? Dr. Jinx got something for feelings. What? I don't. I don't <laughs> get it. What was this supposed to be? <laughs> okay, so that was a scam, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think he sprayed me with Miracle Grow. This is ridiculous. What are we doing here? We're turning to the big man upstairs. He's gonna make this right. I can't believe you think this is a real solution to our problem, Dennis. What do you think of all this? I'm just... Oh man! Look, I'm just trying to embrace this. I want to see if I can knock some emotion loose. This is ridiculous. Hey, 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 don't say that. Now kneel. I don't like to kneel. I don't, I don't see the point. Because God wants it. Hey, now stand. Stand? Yes, and give me some money for the baskets. No, I'm not giving you money. No, thank well, you. We have no, to give you. money. No, oh, thank you. you. No, thank you. <laughs> Look, if anything, the church would give us money. You <laughs> have plenty of it. Dude, the church doesn't give money. It takes it. All right? That's the way it <laughs> works. And then you go to heaven. I think that's his point. Kneel. We're going to kneel again. Actually, it's over. We're standing again. 
<laughs> Look, I, I totally get Charlie's frustration here. Yeah. Confused. Come here. What are you doing? What are you doing? Offering you a sign of peace. I don't want this. Peace be with you. Peace be with what is going on with Dennis in this episode? This is weird. You know, I'm not seeing clearly yet how you get the cash. Hmm. I do see a lot of money in your future. You do. Yeah, but <laughs> oh, shit. yeah, I think it's gonna take a few sessions to really get the whole picture. Is it? Ah, I was just out buying new shoes, and I remembered. I didn't want to give you that hundred bucks. Yeah, and then you called me and you said you changed your mind and you'd like to give me another hundred. So where is it? I did. Yeah. No, God, Frank, I come on. John, you have an interesting aura. Don't start with me. Who's gonna win a Super Bowl this year? You don't know shit. <laughs> well, I do know you lost three pairs of shoes this month. You have a pork chop bone in your left pocket. You have 57 cents in your right, and you clip someone's side mirror while parking in a handicapped spot. Holy shit. That's, That's everything that D told him. Can you conjure the dead? I am feeling as if she is still living somewhere in this city with a small Mexican dog. Does that ring a bell? <gasps> small Mexican dog? <laughs> that dirty bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I'll tell you guys, I didn't feel much in there, but I do always enjoy the little wafers. Of course you do, because you're consuming the actual body of Christ. Uh-huh. Well, no, you're not. Delicious. Wait, what? You're eating our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ every Sunday. That's... So you're telling me that you believe that Christ comes back to life every Sunday in the form of a bowl of crackers, and then you proceed to just eat the man. So... Correct. You consumed his corpse okay. and you drank his blood. That's about... Good, 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 good. This is what we're dealing with. Hey, Mom! <laughs> <laughs> Can I talk to you for a second? Why are you here? Honestly. Look at that. Whatever he sprayed on me worked. He might actually be a or good Or maybe doctor. the fact that you didn't oh, scratch at it. Everybody. Just a reminder, if you wouldn't mind. We're asking for extra donations for the statue of the Blessed Mother that was vandalized last week. What the shit, man? My mother is dying of cancer. And you need money to fix the statue? No, 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 no. Don't give me this act. Charlie, calm no, down. No, no, no. Why don't you give us some money, okay? You know, how much is that ring worth? That looks like an expensive ring. Can we have the ring? Okay, okay all right. Uh, I'm sorry, I mean, Father. I, I will pray for his sins. I'm sorry. Yeah. Hey, Charlie. Charlie, Charlie. Doing? It's okay. I got this. I Look, got I'm with Charlie this. here, man. Yeah, yeah, I agree. Like, don't, don't get all riled up about this scam or that scam. You know, it's all a big scam. Okay? Yeah. But I will say this. The church's scam, it's a pretty good one. It's effective. Look at all the money these people are giving to the church. So I say we use that model to raise money for your mom at Patty's. Guys, let's throw a beef and beer. She's probably got money buried all over the city. Oh. Whoa. There we go. Dig it up, dig it up. Come on, buddy. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh. Ha, goddamn! Oh, <laughs> dog in there. Gross. This reminds me of uh, not a dog. Bear. That's my toupee, my blonde toupee. I, I used to wear this in, in Miami. She hated this goddamn thing. Oh, she thing. didn't like that? No. Now, you are an idiot. <laughs> oh, my God. There is some cash. <gasps> that dirty whore. Wow. There's got to be like five grand in here. Uh, but she's probably got like, this stuff hidden all over the city. So good to see you. So good of you to come. Yeah, right on, right on. Well, it's for a good cause, isn't it? So have some beef, have some beer. And if you feel... No one's going to give and, anything. You know, go ahead and pop that ring in the donation bucket. Although I know you won't. <laughs> all right, have a good time. We're both playing the same game. I, I totally <laughs> get it. I get what you're doing. At least he called him out. Let me see the, the neck. Mom, turn your head that way. <laughs> what the <laughs> hell? No, dude, the lesions are fine. That's overkill. They just I saw her. why I have to wear all this makeup and wear a bald cap. Mom, you want people to feel sorry for you, right? Then they give a lot of money, and you just don't look that sick. You gotta look sicker. But I feel like it's lying. Oh, it's not lying. It is. Mrs. Kelly, because you are dying of cancer. Yeah. It's devouring your insides. But we need for it to devour your outside so it plays better for our audience. <laughs> yeah, look, Mom, it's just basic Hollywood stuff. All right, don't fight Why it. Why can't you get Frank to give me the money? <laughs> Frank's not really like a big charity kind of guy. He's not really going to give it. Okay. That's fair. Let's talk about the speech, okay? Can you go over the speech that we gave you? I learned something very important today, and it just dawned on me. I want to talk about faith. Right on. It's not about whether something is true or, or, or based in fact or, or reality or the laws of physics or nature or, or even basic common sense. <laughs> it's about whether or not we're dumb enough to believe in it that matters. <laughs> Oh, folks, who the hell am I to say that there is no God? Who am I? Or to say that anybody's belief in the church doesn't make their life better. Maybe it does. Or that this man... What? 
Dr. Jinx, who am I to say that he can't cure diseases with his sorcery? I don't know. I say maybe he can. And I believe he can't. Yeah. Maybe he can. Do you feel the spirit? Do you feel the invisible things around you that don't really exist? Oh, it doesn't matter. <laughs> Dr. Jinx. Motherfucker. That's a really fucked up sign. What's plans? 2012 question mark. Thank you so much. Thank you. I was so proud. Dennis, that was amazing, dude. I'm so proud of you. You are feeling again. No. What? I'm not none of it. Give me money. Money me. Money now. Charlie wrote that. That is Charlie's part. A lot now. That was Charlie. Yeah. Charlie, I, I can't do this. Doing great. Doing great. I have a confession to make to all of you. Don't do it, bitch. Oh, I don't have cancer. What? What? Why would she say that she did? I mean, where did you come up with this idea? Well, I learned everything by watching you. What? Well, uh, Oh, shit, I did do that. Yeah, you totally <laughs> pulled that shit on us, too. You son of a bitch. That's no excuse. <laughs> yeah, well, I to totally to forgot about no, no, the I Charlie has cancer episode. It's a goddamn church gardener. A gardener? I guess that would explain oh. this. Oh! <laughs> oh. Ah. I'll talk to you about that. I'm really sorry. Dennis, Mom's alive. She faked her own death to steal Frank's money, and we think it's buried in her grave. That dirty whore. <laughs> Everybody get a goddamn shovel! They're about to dig up a dead body. Place for that bitch to hide my money. You guys ready? This is not gonna go the way they think it is. I gripped it yet. <laughs> what? <laughs> I grifted your ass as good because you said I was slipping. <laughs> Dude! <laughs> you made me dig up my dead mother because I said you were losing it? Score one for the old people. <laughs> Great job, Frank. What the hell happened to my shoes? Really? What? All right, that was season eight, episode number six of It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia. Uh, Charlie's mom learned from Charlie her ways. That's interesting. I mean, I thought this was a pretty good episode from the standpoint that, like, as far as, like, arguments and, like, frustration, Charlie was on point. He he was just telling everyone, like, I don't know, he, he was just showing everyone up in, like, logic and shit. And you never see that. Yeah, no, I thought this was a great episode for Charlie. Uh, although, not gonna lie, it wasn't real. I, I don't really feel it was as funny as a lot of the other episodes. Sure. Uh, it felt kind of meh on the front, like on the comedy front. But uh, it's always nice to see Charlie sort of come out looking ahead. Yeah, this one was a, kind of a weird one for Dennis, though. Like having no feeling and I know your little theory saying you he never well, had feeling to begin I, I with. I don't but, think he did. But you know, that aside, like even if he never had feeling, in this episode he showed an obvious, like, out of character like shit. Like it, he was acting different and No, it's maybe not the fucking sermon thing he did about the being like the church and all that shit. That was that seemed like to be his character kind of thing but like in general I, he was not really Dennis honestly I think he was just exhausted because he spends so much time pretending to have feelings <coughs> that's all it was yeah uh, what Frank did was pretty fucked up yeah that was uh, <laughs> that was a little that was a little dark um, it, I mean it was obviously framed more comedic but you know the thought that he would put his uh well, I guess they weren't his kids, so maybe he has less of a reason to feel guilty about it. But, you know, these kids that he, in some in some form, helped to raise, that he would put them through that shit just to prove a point, <laughs> it's kind of fucked up. Yeah, 
And then uh, the fact Dennis had nothing to do with it the whole episode. In the yeah, last I know. five this minutes. Was between him and D the whole time. Yeah, in the last five minutes, Dennis possibly found out his mom's alive, and then the next scene sees her skeleton and <laughs> very traumatizing and shit. It's <laughs> it's pretty fucking fucked up. Um, so the whole thing with the church was a uh, and the brain the lung cancer was all a ruse because. Charlie's mom and uh, and Max's mom broke a stupid statue in which the church was going to raise money to fix anyway. So it's like, what the fuck? You know. All whatever. Uh, I thought it was an okay episode. Um, you obviously th- think different, but, you know, it's all good. Uh, if you haven't already, hopefully you guys enjoyed our reactions first off. But if you haven't already, please hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell so you get notified every time we upload a brand new video. So with that being said, we will see you in the next one. Later, guys.